Hi there, so today I just got the Raspberry Pi power over Ethernet hat in the mail. Let's unbox it now. So there are standoffs in the package. And the hat itself. Let's see what chips these are. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. But the way this is supposed to work is... I'm sorry, I'm still sick. But the way these are supposed to work is with the Raspberry Pi uh, 3 Model B Plus this just happens to slide on here and should be good to go of course the standoffs are meant to be uh, put in place but Let's try it out. So recently I've upgraded to a power over ethernet Ubiquiti 48 port switch. Um, and as you can see I have a Raspberry Pi running all sorts of things. Um, if you would like to get a video on what's running on that, just comment below. But I would love to get rid of this cable and just use power over ethernet. So let's try that now. So. Yes, I know. I I I should I should put the standoffs into place before trying this, but I'm just too excited. So let's give it a go. Um. So we have ready. So the way it's supposed to be is using these screws. Um just goes through here if you take a hand off um, uh, stand off I mean and you just tighten it maybe you don't have to over tighten these at all they're just solely to keep the distance between the the pie and the the hat. Now keep in mind, um, there were um, PoE hats before this one, but since these hat, th this hat is now an official hat. Um, these hats are are uh, are made for this purpose, and you do not need to use any uh, cabling whatsoever you just plug in the ethernet cable and you're good to go um, so now we can reinsert the hat onto the Pi making sure that I did not damage any of the <laughs> headers and remove it on the removal of this and then we just take the other screws and just screw it in I didn't check if the screws were equal length I'm sorry okay let's try if it let's try it if it works again we get the green light. Be sure not to touch any of these parts because high high voltage and current could be going through there. So we get the red light again. Mm. How about we try and 
replace the existing Raspberry Pi with this one. So I've shut down all the instances that this Pi is using, was using. So we can just unplug it. This is a custom 3D printed case. Not one of my best designs. You must remove the SD card. And this SD card hereby I will just transfer over to the new Pi. So the new Pi does not have the push to release mechanism if I'm seeing it correctly. The one that we had before. So let's remove the Pi. So Pi removed. Uh, actually I made a mistake again. Just so with a bit of fiddling and a bit of filing, I managed to make the not long enough screws be long enough. Um, let's put the SD card back into place, trying not to drop it behind between the case and the Pi. So basically. If I plug this in, this should just work, in theory. And we will not, and we should not need this cable anymore. And yeah, so let's go on to the Unify controller and check what the usage of the Pi hat is. So in the Unify controller you can see that the Pi is plugged into port 13. The Pi is using anywhere in between 3 to 4 watts of PoE power. You can see that, the, uh, that you can reboot the device just like any other power over ethernet uh, device on Unify. You can also see that the usage of power is right in between the cloud key and the uh, nano HD access point that I have plugged into the switch. So this was the Raspberry Pi power over Ethernet hat. Um, I've checked the functionality, it works. The next things I will have to check is how this fan is supposed to work but I have more to come with this. If you like this video, please like, rate, subscribe, do all the comments. If you like this video, please like, rate, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you, goodbye.